All right, this will be our last recording for this lab, and there's a few things that we need to do. So I'm thinking that here on the index page, let me just put some space between these tags so we can see them clearly. Let's take a look at where we are so far. The index page looking like this. The five page looking like that. So there's several things I want to do. Um, I'd like to get the index page. Let me. This is the process of designing a website, right? You look at it, you try to figure out what you think it needs. So let's begin by um, talking about each of these tags. Let me scoot this over. I like to have my, and I'm actually going to close this so I can have some more real estate. There, now I've got my two windows side by side and I can see what I'm doing. I think I'd like everything to be centered and I'm noticing that the main tag which is all of this stuff including the footer right I've got main start and main end. I'm noticing that this tag does not include the nav so I want to put a style called center on main but in order for it to work on everything, I'm going to have to cut it and put it up here. Now when I save that, nothing changes because I just moved its location. I haven't styled it yet. But if I now add tech, oh, sorry, style equals text align colon, oops, I can see a little mistake as I work, sorry text align colon center semicolon got one extra there we go let me do a save and now this is all centered so definitely I like that better I'm also feeling like I have too much padding up here let me just look at that oh I can just simply take off this p tag which the paragraph tag includes a bunch of space around it. There, that's a little better. And I think the same green background behind the nav would be great. So why don't I simply copy this background color and padding and put it on the nav. So style equals save. There, that looks nice. I'm thinking a um, background color on this center section too, but I haven't given it an HTML5 tag. So I'll give it the tag of section. There. I think that's good. Um, I'll give it the background color of 343477, which is this blue color. So style equals background. Look, I'm just going to use that code hint instead of typing. And there is my color because I've used it before. Save. Oh, that looks nice, but now there's no contrast between this dark black and the blue. So I should probably make the text in this section, let's see, style equals um, color. What color do I want it to be? Uh, A8A. -A. I'll start with the hashtag. A8A. -A. 8CD and then semicolon space. Yeah, I like that. Now, I'm, I don't like these white gaps though. I don't love that. So I'm wondering about the padding. Maybe I'll give this section some padding. Padding 10px. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, I'm as a graphic designer, and I'm going to ask you to think like this too. What can unify this blue section with these top and bottom sections? And it might mean to bring this green color into this somewhere. So maybe the green color, which is the background color, I'm going to copy it. Command C. And maybe I'll make my H3s that color. Style equals color. Is that going to work? Let's save and see what that looks like. I think that looks great. So I'll just copy this. for each of my H3s. Save. Now I feel like it's beautifully unified. Maybe the terms could be italics. Let's do the EM tag. And we're doing appropriate nesting here. So you can see the EM tag is inside the P tag. It doesn't include the word terms because I don't want that to be italics. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm going to do it to all of them. And then what we'll do is do the similar things to the next page, the page called 5. Two more. So you're actually looking at your work on the right side and then designing as you look at it. There will be lots of changes as you work because that's what it is to design a website, right? Save. Now, what happens when I open this? I don't know if I like the way it travels. I think, I mean, all this extra blank space, I think I should give it a width. And let's see, I would do that to the main. So the way I'm going to give it a width is I'm going to put, I'm going to say I'd like 20% of my open window on the left side and the right side to be blank. I'm going to put that right here. Uh, let's see, margin left. Margin hyphen left, 20%. Margin hyphen right, 20%. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, I like that. So now what I have to do all those stylistic changes that I've just made. I need to put them on, let's get my Explore menu back, on 5. So I'm going to copy this and go to 5 and use that for my main tag. Remember, I took it out from here and I put it above the nav. Let's look at that. So now it's all centered. I can tell you it's always a bad design mistake to center paragraphs. It's OK to center headlines, but not paragraphs. So I might have to go in there and change that. But let's get the rest of these styles copied over first. Let's copy the nav background color. And let's copy the section. I don't have section tags there yet, but I'll put them in. So here's the section. And that's going to go above, below the nav. And I've got to close that tag because I didn't have a section tag in here. It's going to go above the main. Oh, wait a second. This should be a closing tag, not a Save. Oh, this is looking great. So now I'm thinking uh, last things on this. 
make my paragraphs align to the left and change my H3s to that green. I'll do the H3s first because for some reason that feels easier. got five to do. One, two, three. Working backwards here, please excuse me. Four and five. And now I'm going to say to my p tag style equals text align left. Oops, my, my quote marks, I didn't work correctly. Save. Now I'm going to copy this p tag, and there's quite a few p tags to put in here, so bear with me. I think I can move quickly. This is the last thing I want to do before adding images. I'm on section three now. We only have five to do. There is section four. Oops. And this is section five, all done. Let's do a save and take a peek. Yeah, I like it. I suppose, now that I think about it, on page one. Oh, that's not linking. Why not? Let's go up here and look. Nav a href equals home.html. Oh, there's something not quite right about this. A href equals index.html. A href. Is this not like that last one. Look, I'm just going to retype the whole thing. A href equals index dot html. Save. See that? I can tell the red is telling me that something's wrong. Let's see if it's something up here. Nav style equals. Yes, it's up here. The line above it is missing its quote mark. There. Five and home. Five and home. So what I was going to say is this should be a live link, right? Let's go to the bottom of index and make this source into a live link. So there's the A tag. Here's the closing A tag. href equals. There's my quote marks. I'll just cut this out and put it between the quote marks. Do a save. Let's look at it now. There we go. Live link. All right, I'm going to save this. And in lab two next week, we will add some images to this. Great job on lab one, everyone.